Okay, so now that we know what outs are, we can look at how a game is played. And ultimately, how do you win a game of baseball? Each baseball game is divided into sections, which are called innings. In the top, or the first half of the inning, the home team will be in the field on defense, and the visiting team will be batting. The visiting team will continue to bat until they get out three times, whether they fly out, ground out, strike out, or any combination of those. Now, after three outs, the top of the inning will end, and the bottom half of the inning begins. For the bottom half of the inning, the home team will bat, and the visitors will run out onto the field to their defensive positions. The home team will bat in the bottom of the inning until they are put out three times. And after that would be the end of the first inning. The teams would then switch again, so the home team is again in the field and the visiting team is at bat, and they would do that for three more outs. At that point, then the bottom of the second inning would begin. And so the teams continue to alternate back and forth between offense and defense for nine innings. After nine innings, whichever team has scored more runs or points is the winner. You might see something called a line score, either on TV, online, or even at the scoreboard if you are at a game. And this is a diagram showing how many runs each team scored in each half inning. This lists the visitors on top and the home team on the bottom. Remember, the visitors bat in the top of the innings, and the home team bats in the bottom of the innings. So at the end over here on the right will be the total number of runs for each team. One final thing to note, if the home team is leading the game after the first eight and a half innings, so if after the top of the ninth, the home team is leading the game, they do not have to bat again in the bottom of the ninth because they already have more runs than the visiting team and batting again would not accomplish anything. So finally, what happens if the two teams are tied after nine innings have been completed? At this point, the game would move into extra innings, which is baseball's version of overtime. There is never a tie in baseball. So the teams will continue to play extra innings until one team is leading after a complete inning. So if the visiting team were to score a run in the top of the 10th inning, the home team would still have a chance to bat in the bottom of the 10th inning. If the home team then fails to score, the visiting team would win. If the home team scores one run to tie it up in the bottom of the 10th, then the game would again be tied and they would continue for as many innings as they needed until the game was no longer tied. Now, if the home team is able to score two runs in the bottom of the 10th, that would put them in the lead and they would have won the game. They don't even have to keep playing until there are three outs.